Hi guys, this is Sharon and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this market bag in pineapple design. If you're going to take the time to watch this video, I'm sure you're going to love the uh, pineapple design because it's just super easy to make and I will show you step by step on how to make it. For this project, I'll be using an in the fill 4 ply yarn. I'm gonna make a magic ring and then using a 4.0 millimeter hook, I'm gonna work my first double crochet, which is chain 3, and then I'm gonna work 13 more double crochets into the ring. So I have my second. So the total number of double crochets in the magic ring should be 14. Once you have 14 double crochets into the magic ring, you can pull the yarn tail now and then we're going to close off round one by working a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet which is chain three so um, what i usually do is i insert the hook here catching the loop underneath this loop on top not beside this one it's the other loop so as you can see there I am slip stitching now and there you go for the next round we're going to work an increase and to start we're always chaining three which counts as one double crochet and then into the same stitch as the chain three which is here work one double crochet now into every stitch we're gonna work two double crochets so the next stitch is gonna be here so we're gonna do two in every stitch around now to end the round you're gonna work a zip stitch on top of the chain three same thing, you're going to catch those two loops and then for round 3, chain 3 and into every second stitch you're going to work an increase or two double crochets. One and two, and then one into the next, and then two into the next. So that's going to be the repeat pattern until you get to the last available stitch around. Now I'm working my last increase of round three, and then to end the round, always work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain catching the two loops there now for round four chain three and then into every third stitch so we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and into every third work an increase so that's going to be the repeat pattern around increase into the third stitch or work two double crochets into every third stitch around
So now to end the round, you're just going to work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. So now we're done with the base of the bag. So the next few rounds are going to be the body part going up. And to start, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This counts as one double crochet. And then chain two for the chain space because we're gonna work a cluster. Now, two double crochets into the very same stitch as the uh, chain three. So, we're going to work one more into the same stitch. That's it. So we have formed one double crochet, chain two space, and then two double crochets. By the time we get back around, we're gonna add one more double crochet into here to complete the cluster of two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So we're gonna work two more double crochets. We should have a total of seven double crochets in here and then we're going to chain two and then skip six stitches three four five six and into the next we're going to work two double crochets chain two and then two more double crochets into the same stitch and then we're going to chain two and then we're going to repeat working seven double crochets after skipping six stitches so one two three four five six and then in here, we're going to work seven. One and seven. And then do not forget to chain two. So we're repeating this alternately with seven double crochets. So you're going to repeat that until you get back around. Okay, so the last, the last cluster that you should have made is the seven double crochets, and then in between, there is chain two, and then we're going to complete this cluster here, so it will be the same as this one, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So we need one more double crochet into the very same stitch as. All the other three double crochets in chain two and then slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain so there we have completed the cluster similar as this and for round 10 we're going to slip stitch first into the chain two space And then we're going to chain three, which counts as one double crochet, chain two for the chain space, and then two double crochets into the chain two space as well. One and two. So this means that for every cluster of two double crochets, chain two into double crochets, we're gonna do the same on the next round but the difference is on this cluster of seven double crochets it's gonna be different so we're going to start chaining two 
and then into the first of the seven double crochets we're going to work a single crochet and then we're going to chain three skip a stitch and work one single crochet in the next and we're gonna do this two more times so one two three skip a stitch and into the next work one single crochet and then chain three into the last double crochet skipping one stitch here one single crochet so we did three loops and we're forming pineapple stitch on this part right here now we're going to repeat what we did in here only this one will be completed once we get back around so we're going to chain two now and then into the chain two space we're going to work two double the chains chain two and then two double crochets and then we're going to be repeating the same as what we did in here so for every seven clusters of double crochets or seven double crochets we're gonna do what we did here so in all seven double crochets here, we're going to do the same and nothing changes when we do two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets on top of this cluster. In between, we're going to chain two and then we're going to start working the loops when we get to the first double crochet of the seven double crochets. Just repeat that until you get back around. Alright, so to end round 10, we're going to work one more double crochet to complete the uh, cluster and then slip stitch on top of the uh, third beginning chain. Now we're done. So for round 11, we're going to work a slip stitch into the chain two and then we're going to chain three which counts as one double crochet chain two for the chain space and then we're gonna work two more double crochets And then we're going to chain two after chaining two we're gonna work a single crochet into the first chain three space chain three one single crochet into the next chain three space chain three one single crochet into the next chain three so we're gonna have two chain three spaces now and then we're going to chain two work two double crochets into the chain two space And then chain two and we're gonna work two more so two double crochets 
chain two and then two double crochets all into the chain two space so this is what it's going to look like and then we're going to chain two and we're going to repeat this one here so we're going to work a single crochet into the chain three chain three one single crochet into the chain three space chain three again one single crochet into the chain three and chain two and then we're going to repeat what we did here into every cluster of two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and then we're going to repeat what we did for every cluster in between this so we're going to form two loops now instead of three so we're forming pineapple stitch in between so just repeat that until we get back around so we're going to complete the uh, last cluster to end this round and to do that we're going to work two double crochets into the same stitch or chain space and then we're gonna chain two and as you can see we should have three groups of two double crochets so we're going to work one more in here and then we're going to work a zip stitch on top of the third beginning chain so it's gonna be here So round 11 is done. For round 12, we're going to work a slip stitch into the chain 2. And then we're going to chain 3, chain 2. This chain 3 counts as one double crochet. Chain 2 will be the chain space. And then into the same chain 2 space for 2 more double crochets after that we're going to chain two and then we're going to work a single crochet into the chain three and then we're going to chain three and work one single crochet into the second chain three space so as you can see, we have formed a pineapple stitch on this area here, and we're going to do that in the other part as well. So we'll be repeating this in between these clusters here. And then we're going to chain two and then in here we're going to work one cluster of two double crochets into the chain space chain two space we're going to do two double crochets chain two and then two double crochets chain one and then we're gonna repeat working two double crochets chain two and two double crochets in here We'll 
just repeat what we have done in here. So we're going to chain two again, work a single crochet into the chain three, chain three, one single crochet into the chain three space, chain two, and we will repeat working clusters of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain one, and we're going to repeat this cluster until we have two. So we're just going to repeat that around and I'll show you how to end round 12. Now to end the round, we must complete two clusters of two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets twice, and in between that, there's chain one. So we're going to complete this to close off round 12. So we're gonna work two double crochets first into the chain two, and then chain two, and then two double crochets. And then chain one, and work a... Okay, now we should have two here, so we're gonna add one more. And do not forget, you chained one first and then work one double crochet. And now, we're almost complete with two double crochets, a group of double crochets. So we're gonna work three on the third beginning chain. That's where we're going to work a slip stitch. And then round 12 is done. So now we're going to move on to round 13. Okay, so for round 13, we're going to do the same thing as what we did with the last uh, four rounds. So we're going to chain three, which counts as one double crochet, chain two for the chain two space, and then two more double crochets into the chain two. So when we get back around, we're going to finish this off with one more double crochet and slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. Now, uh, next is we're going to chain two and then into the chain three space. We're gonna work one single crochet, chain two again, and then we're going to work a cluster of two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets into the chain two space. So one, two, one, two, and two more double crochets. And then after that, we're going to chain two and then work one single crochet into the chain one space chain two and then work another cluster into the chain two space So that is going to be the repeat pattern here. So um, once we get here, we're going to um, chain two, work a single crochet into the chain three space, chain two, and then form another two clusters chain two, one single crochet into the chain one space, and chain two again. 
So that's going to be the repeat pattern for this round. Here I'm almost finishing the round. So I'm going to chain two. One single crochet into the chain one. And then chain two again. And since we're completing this cluster, same as in here. So we're going to work one more double crochet to complete the cluster and then slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. So round 12 is finished and you can slip stitch into the chain 2 to prepare for the next round. Also on round 13, as you can see, it's already curling up and we're gonna make one more round of the uh, pineapple design. This is actually going to be the repetition. After this last round here, we're going to repeat 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So, round 14. For round 14 is we're going to chain three, which counts as one double crochet and then chain two for the chain space and then into the uh, next chain two space in between the two groups of two double crochets we're going to work two double crochets so two we're going to chain two. We're going to work a single crochet into the second double crochet. Afterwards, we're going to chain two, three, and four. So we have chain four here. And then we're going to work a single crochet into the first single crochet or into the first double crochet. So it's going to look like this. Afterwards, we're going to chain two. And then two double crochets into the chain two space. So it's going to look like this. And then we're just going to repeat that. Chain two. And then two double crochets in here. Chain two. On the uh, second double crochet, we're gonna work one single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And then one single crochet into the first of the two groups, or one group of two double crochets. And then chain two again, work two double crochets into the next chain two space and then we're going to repeat so chaining two by the time that you get underneath the uh, pineapple stitch and then after that we're just going to repeat what we did here into here so into the chain two space in between the two groups of two double crochets we're gonna work two double crochets and then chain two one single crochet into the second double crochet 
chain four, one single crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain two, then two double crochets. So it's easier on round 14, we're just going to repeat this particular pattern until we get back around. So now to end this round, as you can see, um, we have, we're supposed to have chain two above this pineapple stitch here and one double crochet into the chain two space, which is, uh, which should be the pattern. So it's, it should look like this. And so we're going to work chain two and then one double crochet into the chain space where we first work the uh, chain three which counts as one double crochet so now we're gonna have two and then we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain so one two three make sure that you don't insert it to this chain two space it should be on top of the third beginning chain and then we're going to slip stitch in here so as you can see round 14 is done So now we're going to repeat round 9 to 14 again in order to create this particular design. So I'm going to start by working into the uh, chain 2 space which is here. And so to get to the chain 2 space first you have to work a slip stitch. That way it will be in to the chain two space. Now we're going to work chain three, which counts as one double crochet. And then we're going to make a chain two space. So we're adding two. And then into the same chain space, we're gonna work two double crochets. So we're back to working round nine so this is the first cluster of two double crochets chain two space but when we get back around we will be completing this cluster here with one more double crochet so now we're gonna chain two and into every chain four space that is where we're going to work the seven double crochets. So one, two, and seven. So now we have seven double crochets in here. Then we're going to chain two. And then again, we're going to work a cluster of into the chain two space, two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets all into the same chain two space chain two and we're going to repeat what we have in here which is seven double crochets so we're going to repeat this pattern until we get back around now to end round 15 don't forget to chain two and then complete the clusters of two double crochets chain two and two double crochets here so into the same chain space as your first chain three there we're gonna work our last double crochet and then on top of the uh, beginning third chain this is the discount as one double crochet and this is a chain two space 
So we're going to work a slip stitch into the top beginning third chain. So we're, da we're done with round 15. So um, this is just very easy. So you're going to repeat round 9 to 14 in order to create this pattern. And you can repeat it depending on how long you want your market bag to be. In my case, I might add one more repetition of rounds 9 to 14. So we have already done round 9 repetition. So we're going to just continue with 10 to 14 so we have nine here you can just go back to the uh, second round here so the next thing is we're gonna add this kind of pineapple design on top so that would be round 10 so we're repeating round 10 to round 14 and then if you want it longer you can add a few more rows of that this is what it looks like now after working three repetitions of rounds 9 to 14. And when we get to the last round before you go to round 14, you need to stop because on round 14 into the last round here, there, there is going to be some changes and I'm going to show you. That's about it for this video. I hope you're able to make one and I'll show you how to make the handle in my next video. Thank you!